make a new project an ordinary Java application let's call it in the C generator tester for example All what you have to do is to put these generated classes into the same path of the source package of the MVC generator tester application. Let's, let's go to its directory. Here it is. Open the SRC. Okay. Take your five packages. And put them here. Okay, open NetBeans again. Here are the packages that you have moved into your application. Actually, your application has no driver, has no MySQL driver, so you have to add the driver yourself. From the library section in the properties, press Add Library. The library's dialog will appear. Choose MySQL JDBC driver and click OK. Now you're ready to get a list of your patients, to get a list of the examinations, to insert a new complaint for some patient, to insert a new patient, to remove a patient, to update the data or the information of some patient. You can do almost everything with your database without writing a single SQL query. Let's see how. Open your main class, go to your main method, make an object, let's say of the patient service class, patients service class, patient, call it patient service new okay here we made the object use this object to retrieve a complete list of your patients using the select all generated method that we talked about a few minutes ago throw this exception assign the return value to an array and now you're ready to print the items of the array in a loop, for example. I'm going to uh, print these values on the console window for simplicity. These methods are the method of the bean or the generated bean. Now I'm going to get the first name. This application is supposed to display the first name of all the patients that are found in the database, in the patients table in the database. So let's run the application. As you notice, the application compiles successfully and displays the names that are found in the database. That's all for now. Of course, you can use the MVC generator or the code generated by the MVC generator in selecting, in inserting, in deleting, and in updating. Uh, the next step is to use the MVC generator to build the controller and the view and to uh, support other technologies and so on. Up to this point, the, the current version, which is 1.2 of the MVC generator, builds what we talked about right now. You can use it as you wish. You can save your time, you can save your effort, and you can concentrate on the logic that needs intelligence and needs smart coding.
I hope this video is helpful. Thank you.